so we Sorry. have the latest, um, the latest <coughs> uh, version of the. Oh, do we have the latest city? version here? Yes. You should have mm -hmm. two point one. Okay, two point one. Mm -hmm. And I've got a copy of it here. So it's changed substantially since the last couple of times we've talked about it. All reference to um, mission options. Yes, we took the mission out. out. But other than that, I thought it was pretty. And then we it, it got the quotes better. Well, it also puts the focus on Vermont's long time leadership in opposing the spread of nuclear weapons, which I think is something that people in this building will relate to as well as people outside the building, obviously. But yep. I think reminding them that the General Assembly voted for nuclear abolition of nuclear weapons is a good reminder for people to have with them. Mm -hmm. so I think that we made it more appealing to the, to the Senate and while keeping it on target, who I shouldn't use that phrase. Well, <laughs> keeping, it, well keeping it with the spirit that the citizens wanted it to be when they originally proposed it. Right. Yes, and consistent with our resolution of many years ago. Right. In 1999. So this is sort of, you know, it's 20 years later. This is the update. <laughs> Well, part of the problem was talking to somebody about it. We also closed Vermont Yankee, obviously, part of it, because we were concerned about the effects of nuclear power. Right. But we've gotten so used to us as Americans living in a constant state of war, like all this bad stuff going on around us so much that I think that we've forgotten about it. We have not thought enough about nuclear weapons in a long time. I, think I agree. It's a good reminder, a wake-up call, that this threat has not gone away. In fact, it's coming. You well, could argue we're closer than ever. And it, yes, in fact, it's going to be insidiously embedded unless we do something and stand up and say no. Right. So, a procedural question. We will vote it out today. We'll bring it up. It'll be in the calendar tomorrow. Right. Um, I don't know that... Um, do resolutions do the same thing? They go on notice? Okay, so it'll go on notice tomorrow, mm -hmm. and tomorrow is tomorrow Thursday. So Friday mm -hmm. it'll be voted on. Mm -hmm. The um, I don't know. We generally don't read resolutions. Right. Oh, sure. Steve just uh, what? Steve just read the resolution. That yes, well, that but was that was a very right. special. We hardly ever read resolutions. Right. I understand. So the question is, given the fact that. Um, a lot of people have committed to vote for it. Do we really want to read it? And um, do we want to encourage not having a uh, roll call vote? I would ask my, my two questions. I think those are good questions. Uh, I would prefer to have it read. It's not that long. And I would prefer to not have a roll call vote. Um, but, I, but, I Not thought I way. could be wrong, obviously, but I thought that since it was treated as a as a bill, treated like a bill and sent to committee, that we would present it as like a bill on the floor. Oh, I interesting. Could be wrong, but that's just would have been my assumption that they treat it as a bill sent to committee. That's because there's poli any policy right. in it, or or even if there isn't policy in it, if they don't want to put it right on the calendar, right. they treat it as a bill. That's so I think we have to ask John Bloomer. We should. So yes. let's chat with, because, you know, actually it would be wonderful if you presented it, or, or either one of you presented it, it would be, uh, it, I would think that would be great, be better than it being read, quite frankly. Sure. It will be distributed to everybody's desks, yes. because it's so different, obviously, from what was initially uh, yeah. present, uh, introduced. So um, I think it would be much better if we explained it briefly instead of it being read. Right. Well, so I would, um, so check with, yeah, with check Bloomer with and, and if they treat it, if it's treated like a bill, then there would be a report right. on it and a, and a um, ref, re, reference to the committee <coughs> vote and however you want to do that. And I would, um, I, I would ask that you present it. I, you've been more involved in it. You were right. one of the original sponsors. I was right. not. It's true, you were not. I was not. But we're glad you've come along. And um, the 
Uh, I would ditto that. Okay. And out of deference, I can uh, speak with, well, I don't know who might be on either side. I, I can speak with people that might be on the side I'm going to find myself on not to request a roll call. Right. I, well, that's I've, why we're, I would not request a roll call. I've been asking, uh, I've been asking people when they either say yes or no. Um, oh, please don't. Please okay. don't right. I'll ask for a roll call. I won't ask for Yeah. I Can I go find Chris? Do we know where Chris is? He's in, he's in the conference. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I didn't hear that. Yeah. So, but he, we can keep it open, yeah, for him because we know he's, yeah, he, he yeah. was a, a reluctant, maybe at the beginning, as it was I, and I think the both of us have come around. Okay, yeah. and I have to say, I've come around because of all the work that's been done on it. I would not have come around to the original resolution. Mm -hmm. Well, I think two things were, were as I watched, I mean, because I was in early. <laughs> <laughs> Pauline and I were in it early and often, but I think what impacted us all was the hearing. The committee hearing was very powerful, I thought, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I, I thought that was great, and I'm really grateful that you pushed forward on that, Jeanette. Thank you. Yeah, I think we'd be in a whole different place if it wasn't for the hearing. Yeah. Pretty, pretty powerful stuff. Yeah, it was powerful, okay. and wow. So do, is there a um, motion? I make a motion that we uh, move, uh, that we vote out SR5 as amended. Or oh, that we amend SR5 uh, with draft 2.1. That's the first thing. And uh, so uh, Bray is not here. Clarkson, yes. Colmore? Polina? Yes. White? Yes. Okay, and the second motion is to pass out SR5 as amended. And uh, Bray is still missing. Clarkson is a yes. No. Carl Morris, no. Alina? Yes. White? Yes. Great, thanks. And I'll get Chris on those two votes. Good, good work. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Madam Chair. Willingness to stick with it. Yeah, well, and to move forward, not just to stick with it, but to move forward with it, because that was the big decision.